Hi Stampers, Nancy Novak here and I am in my craft room but I am doing some dishwashing. I am um, cleaning my craft room up and I decided I better clean my stamping blocks because it's been quite a while and they look really bad and if you don't clean them your stamps don't cling to them as well you know you're gonna find that they're not sticking as well or you can't see through them as well so um, I'm gonna try a few different things here and show you different ways that you can clean them depending on how dirty they are and what the problem is that's sticking to them so right here I have some uh, warm very warm water and some Dawn dish soap and I'm gonna go ahead and just put my uh, cleaning block in there and uh, well, I had a little scrubbing pad and I don't know what happened to it left it in the kitchen. So I'm going to just go ahead and scrub both sides of this cleaning pad of my stamping block and see how well that Dawn works. And it does. It cleans most of the stuff, but if you have some sticky residue on there, you either have to rub it off a little bit more, you know, with your fingers and it doesn't always come off. So let me bring in a paper towel and show you what I'm going to do next. So I'm going to dry that off. And the next thing that works really well, so now if this didn't have glue on there, it, the Dawn would work great. But I do have some sticky residue on here. So the next thing I'm going to try is the Magic Eraser. And I have a big chunk here. Um, I usually cut it down smaller, but then after you wet it, it kind of and you use it for a little bit, it disintegrates. So this time I cut a bigger block and I just dipped the corner in the water earlier and I squeezed out the excess. And that works really, really well. So if you have some sticky spots there, you can use that. But still, this block, like I said, it hasn't been cleaned in a while and I still have some residue on there. So the next thing, this is going to work perfectly, is mineral spirits. But the thing with mineral spirits is it's you have to use it very sparingly and it's real stinky and after you throw it away you don't want to just throw it in your garbage because it's going to stink up your garbage really bad. It's kind of like nail polish remover. So I have a piece of toilet paper here that I folded a few times and I'm going to squirt just a little bit of that mineral spirits on there. And that works. It takes it off. It takes off all that sticky residue. So you may have to uh, do it a couple times because that mineral spirits absorbs into the toilet paper. So you have to use it quickly. And it works beautifully. Oh, it looks so nice. Boy, once you get these blocks all cleaned, it's, it's like having brand new stamping blocks. And I do have to say that Stampin' Up! stamping blocks are by far the best, um, in my opinion. I like them because they're, they're thicker. I'll show you the other ones that I have. And the other ones work. I mean, they all work. But these are thicker. The Stampin' Up! blocks are thicker, and they have a little groove in them. So when you're holding on to them, your fingers fit into that groove nicely. So since I used uh, Mineral Spirit, so wait, what I want to say about this piece of toilet paper is now you throw it down the toilet, eat and flush it. Don't throw it in your garbage. Um, so then I'm probably just going to rinse this off a little bit since it does have the, um, or wash it off some more with the Dawn and dry it off either with a paper towel or with a dishcloth. And that stamping block is perfect. Absolutely perfect. So there you go. So I'm going to get to work here and clean the rest of them. But since I have you on here, I'm going to, I was going to try this. And so anyways, you see how clean that is? It's beautiful, beautiful. And I was going to say some of the other blocks I have, they're just not as thick, you know, so it's just your fingers. It's just a little bit more cumbersome when you're using them. Um, then I have a real, real flat one here, but they all work. But Stampin' Up! just has that nice, this, this is a Stampin' Up! one. There's another Stampin' Up! and they come in all the different sizes. So what I was going to say is, I'm, this is my silicone mat, and I went ahead and I, there was a lot of glue on here, and I, I cleaned it all off just by rolling it with my fingers, and that glue just comes right off. So the mat's able to be used again right now, but it feels like it's dusty to me. So I'm going to see what happens when I throw it in my Dawn, and I can feel already 
that it's much better. So since I'm cleaning, I might as well clean everything. I don't have water here to rinse it since I'm in my craft room. But I can tell it's very, very nice. Laying on here, I got a dishcloth. Let me dry it off with that. Oh yeah, much better. It's not dry all the way. I didn't dry it everywhere, everywhere. But so there you go. Make sure you wash those mats off too every so often because you know you get that little residue on there and you don't want that coming back onto your cardstock. So there you go. I'm going to start cleaning the rest of my blocks here, and I hope that was a good tip for you. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you hit the little bell that's there. That way you'll be notified whenever I go live or I do a new video. And thanks for being here. Don't be shy. Stamp and shout.